What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony Kuzak, and this is Bonfire Debates, where uh, we're going to be talking about video games, comic books, movies, music, and the occasional pornography. Mm. Sometimes it'll be just me. Sometimes it'll be me and my wife, Cian. But hopefully, most of the time, it'll be the whole gang. Uh, me, Anthony Kuzak, my wife, Cian Kuzak, uh, and our friends, Baron Stradom, Dalen Maestri, Sebastian Nyker, and Wade Panny, the crazy Irishman. This is our first episode, so let us know in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe. We have a Patreon, but it's still kind of worth still figuring stuff out there. Let us know if you're interested. Enjoy. When when you think about the way that uh, when when Batman goes through the streets of Gotham and he confronts these guys and he puts them into comas and breaks their arms and their their fucking collarbones and whatever, clearly gives them concussions. Mm-hmm. The the long term effects of that yeah. probably outweigh the fact that they'll ever get out of that life of crime. Like they they have to end up going to a hospital. There's no great. I, th- I think each and every one of them have like fucking PTSD, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so, but, 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 that, man. fuck that. But, but, like, they shut themselves out right? there. It's, it's like, no. Nope. It's not like you're working for the Joker because it's job security. You're, you're working for it because you have no other fucking job. Really, a man that will kill you for fucking no reason at all. Yeah. So, so you're, you're operating under the assumption that you have no other choice, and here's this guy coming. And he puts you into your fucking into into the hospital, which puts your hospital bills to the point where when you get out of the hospital, you have no other choice but to steal or sell drugs or whatever the fuck. So at the end of the day, it would be better if you just fucking killed him. Yeah, it would be a kindness. Yeah. Well, not only that, if you go look at the repercussions of any of his villains, look look at the Joker. How many people has he killed? All of Main. Exactly. So just kill her. Like, like, where's he? <laughs> and and <laughs> Batman goes, oh no 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 no. When is too far? Too far. <laughs> Eventually, you have to make a decision. And why the fuck did they not have the death sentence in Gotham? Honestly. <laughs> but I mean, like, even if you think about it, like, if you if you fight someone, like, if if you Batman, you're spending every night on the street. You come across some some dude standing on the corner of whatever and whatever, and you fuck him up and you put him in hospital. <laughs> oh, and he goes to a hospital. He comes out. He three days later he's back on the street. It's not a new person Batman's beating into a pulp. It's the same guy, right? Or no, that's the same guy. That's the point. That was the, <laughs> point that yeah, just, the same guy gets fucked up over and over. And over. <laughs> but I mean, with, within reason, right? Because it's not like it's not like these guys have. Unlimited fucking goons. It's, it's not like the Ace Chemical Factory has a conveyor belt of people going through it. It's, it, it's just, it's the same, what, 50 people that work for him? Yeah. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same 50 people. What, what I struggle to understand is what fucking juice are they on? Because these motherfuckers going on. Well, I mean, look, look at it from a real world perspective. Blah, 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 blah. It's, if, if you look at the, your even like real life criminals, they go into the system, they come out, and they go back to crime because they can't get real jobs. And how often do you hear it from police officers that they're always arresting the same people for the same crimes? It's not new. Well, okay, they are new people, obviously, because the younger people, the, their kids, the and their grandchildren the don't have Right, so but he's getting fucking arms like, and legs broken. Yeah, but, but okay, so your arm gets broken three sword. times, is, and it's not going to have the same strength as it did before. You're just not going to fucking go out anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if well, someone so that, fucking that's, that's that's be, you and breaks your arm three times, <laughs> <laughs> you're not that, going out. That, that, that's exactly it, though. So they eventually will be the point where they end up in wheelchairs or have severe brain injury that they can't operate. Uh-huh. And you're telling me that's Don't more worry. justified than just killing the person like the first time just fucking <laughs> and game over? I think all I think there's like therapy for all these guys, man. I think they start off being the worst possible people 
they go out into the streets of Gotham, get fucked up over and over again, and then they just become clean. You know, they don't do drugs anymore. They don't go robbing people anymore. <laughs> just like converted citizens. <laughs> no, but the only thing I have to ask the moral question is Batman himself doesn't see himself as a hero. He knows he's, he's a, a criminal. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. If he's a criminal, why stop at just beating someone senseless, literally to the point where you break arms and legs? What what is this moral stand ground for for going maiming someone and going oh no 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 then I just think he's a selfish prick or like at mm. least or at least the point where why oh okay I guess so the question that we're actually asking is it justified that Batman gets to be uh, judge jury and execution at the end of the day because he's making those calls right he's doing the detective mm. work, finding the evidence, and then beating these people so that they have to eat out of a straw for the rest of their life. And then they end up in Arkham, which is not a great place to be, or Blackgate. The asylum. It's a fucking psychiatric ward, right? It's yeah. the same shit we've been talking about. That's where these motherfuckers <laughs> go. <laughs> but then they come out. No. Right? Everyone gets out Arkham, of there. Arkham Asylum is the shittest prison ever because... <laughs> Everyone fucking escapes from that place. Exactly. And Batman keeps putting them <laughs> in the same fucking place. Like, like their whole yeah. t- it's it's like you break out of Gotham, it's like I'm gonna blow some shit up. Batman's basically just like, oh, oh no no, let's take you back, my child. Like <laughs> ha, ha, ha. they go back into kindergarten jail and break the fuck out again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would think, you would think like like Batman like, would create a better fucking place to hold these motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Because he enjoys doing oh, you it. You would expect that, yes. This is all for Batman's ah, entertainment. Yeah. He's literally probably just for Batman. Batman a rich boy he's taking his shit out because he can't fuck it. with cats so he's gonna <laughs> fuck with people. Because <laughs> you don't fuck with the internet. <laughs> I'm just gonna beat these guys shirtless. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, now, now that you mention it, it's it's kind of hard on seeing it in that light anymore. It's just like, what would he do if all the bad guys weren't bad guys anymore? Exactly. exactly. He'd end up in Arkham because like, he go fucking nuts. Yeah. Mm. He'd probably yeah he'd probably have to go into Arkham. Well, I mean, there's a strong argument to be made that he belongs there already. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he does. He he shows clearly signs of a split personality. Because he doesn't view himself as Bruce Wayne anymore. He views himself as the Batman. That's clearly a worrying point there. <laughs> the fact uh, of it as well, he has PSD. With his parents' death. PSD? Oh, PTSD. Oh, PTSD. Ah, right. PTSD. PTSD. Yeah, right, right. But uh, with his parents' death. Or, um, yeah, Michael Keaton. Yes. Did you know that Michael Keaton was the one who set the bar for that low voice for Batman? Yeah. Yeah, he was, like, he was the first one to change the register as in the suit than out of the suit. But he was one of the oh. be- better Batmans. Batman. Well, he's also the Batman they want yeah, to do right. as old Bruce Wayne for Batman Beyond if they ever make a live movie. Huh? Yeah, I, I remember that, yeah. Sure. I, I think it might also be in the, the Flashpoint movie. But who's, who's going to be the young Batman? Then? We don't know. Pattinson. Robert. Yeah. Robert. Yeah. Fuck everyone's <laughs> mind up. <laughs> just, just put everyone in. Just like. <laughs> however, however, I, I, watched him, I watched him in Tenet. He actually was really good in that movie, man. He was. Yeah, I watched him in Tenet. Yeah, he was. He was really good. I think. Yo. It's it's a side of him you, you didn't see often in mm. any other of his movies. He actually. Sh- I mean, the only other movie you really see him is fucking Sparkling, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sparky Batman. Nobody is a can happy relate Batman. to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he is the knight. What? Yeah. The vampire that turned into a bat. Who's this now? Oh, yeah. Robert Pattinson. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I, I, I was on a different <laughs> another level. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so much. Please like, share with everyone, your mom, your sister, your brother, your brother's brother, and all your friends. Comment down, let, let us know if you think Batman should just kill his enemies or beat them to a pulp. What do you think? Is it justified? I don't think so. Uh, also, please, I'll add a link to our Patreon. You really don't have to sub to it, but it would be great. Any early support would be awesome to help us become South Africa's first legitimate YouTube channel, as far as I know. Let me know if I'm wrong. See you guys next time.